I just love him so much. <laughs> I don't want to see this happen to anybody. Dania Beauchene has been in shock ever since her father was attacked. It happened in the cafeteria at Royal University Hospital on the night of June 13. Randy Beauchene was at the hospital with his daughter to help her get treatment for anxiety. Dania didn't see the attack, but says a man came up behind her father in the cafeteria and drove a screwdriver through his skull, penetrating his frontal lobe. Court documents don't confirm the weapon, but do show a man has been charged with attempted murder. Randy, a 55-year-old two-time cancer survivor, is in ICU in critical but stable condition. He has little to no feeling on his left side, and the severity of the brain damage is still unclear. It's really hard to decipher what he's saying half the time. Some words are clearer than others, but now today, like, he can barely even talk. 39-year-old Kevin Wichican, who's facing the attempted murder charge, has been remanded in custody until a bail hearing next week. In a statement to CBC, Saskatoon police said they believe this is likely a case of mistaken identity. That would mean Randy wasn't the intended victim. To have this happen is rather unexpected. It doesn't deserve to happen to anyone. Police won't comment further since the matter is now before the courts. This doesn't deserve to happen to anybody, but my dad's a really good guy. If he saw that you were in trouble, he would do his best to want to take care of you and make sure that you were okay. The Saskatchewan Health Authority says related to this incident, there doesn't seem to be more safety concerns for visitors or patients at RUH. A GoFundMe page has been set up for Randy Beauchene to help with medical expenses and future bills. Yasmin Ranea, CBC News, Saskatoon.